Okay, uh, welcome back to my video. So this time I will work on a problem from the 1984 IMO. It is an inequality problem. Here we have x, y, and z are non-negative real numbers and the sum is equal to 1. And we have to prove that x, y plus y, z plus x, z minus 2 times x times y times z is bigger than or equal to 0 and it is less than or equal to 7 per 27. Now first, I will prove the inequality for the left hand side first, the left inequality first, which is a non-negative one, right? Which is a, the, all of this is non-negative, proving that all of this is non-negative. So I will divide into two cases. First case is the left hand side, and then I will prove the right hand inequality. So, first, this will be proving xy plus yz plus xz minus 2xyz is non negative. Now it is quite easy to prove this because since we know that the sum of x, y, and z is equal to 1, then it must be that each variable cannot have values, uh, each variable cannot have value bigger than 1. So each must be less than or equal to 1. Now because of that, x, y, z, I can write this as, we can see it as x, y times z. Now since z is less than or equal to 1, then this x, y, z will be less than or equal to x, y. Also, if I look at this way, y, z times x, which is the same thing, right? And since x is less than or equal to 1, then xyz must also be less than or equal to yz. So from here, we can see that xy plus yz plus xz minus, oh, okay, sorry, uh, xy plus yz plus xz is bigger than or equal to the xy is bigger than xyz and the yz is bigger than xyz also. And the xz is just a non-negative number, right? So it must be bigger than or equal to zero. So we have all of this bigger than or equal to xyz plus xyz. Or it is 2xyz. And this is just the inequality here. The same thing, right? So we have proved the left hand inequality. It's quite simple. Now we will prove the right hand inequality. We'll prove uh, this one here. Proving xy plus yz plus xz minus 2xyz less than or equal to 7 per 27. To prove this, you will see later that I will use the AMGM inequality, but first I have to transform this quite cumbersome algebraic form into a form that can that can that that allows us to use amgm inequality we see here there are x y y z x z the two combinations and the three combination here so now now let us pay attention to this form 1 minus 2x times 1 minus 2y times 1 minus 2z. This will be equal to 1 minus 2x plus y plus z. 
and then plus 4 times xy plus yz plus xz plus minus 8 xyz and 1 minus 2 times x plus y plus z is just minus 1 because the sum of this is just 1 so we have this equals minus 1 plus 4 times xy plus yz plus xz minus 8 times xyz now we see that we can see here that this form is just four times the or original form, right? So we get from but by, by, by multiplying out this, we get that we have found a result that x y plus y z plus x z minus two times x times y times z can be written another way which is 1 minus 2x times 1 minus 2y times 1 minus 2z per 4 plus 1 over 4 I, I just add both sides by 1 and then I divide both sides by 4 I get this right okay so next We can see here that it seems that this 1 minus 2x times 1 minus 2y times 1 minus 2z allows us to use AMGM inequality. But be careful that each term must be non-negative, right? So, so now I will analyze this this equation again from this equation we can see that only one variable can have value bigger than half because if there are two variables bigger than half then uh, the equation cannot hold so if there is a variable that is bigger than half there can only be one variable so this equation has two possible cases the first case is that without loss of generality let's just say that that x is bigger than half and y z and then for the y is less than or equal to half and z is less than or equal to half and the second case where there is no variable bigger than a half which means that all of them is less than or equal to half so x the y and the z all are less than or equal to half so let us prove where the case is number one first, right? So, so if if x is bigger than half and y z is less than or equal to uh, half, then we see that this form the 1 minus 2x will be a negative number this will be negative and 1 minus 2y is non-negative also the same for the 1 minus 2z so all of this will be the multiplication occasion will be a will be less than or equal to 0 this will be less than or equal to zero so from here we get that 1 minus 2x times 1 minus 2y times 1 minus 2z per 4 plus 1 over 4 
is it is less than or equal to 1 over 4 which is just 7 per 28 and it is less than 7 per 27 and since this is and since this is just the same as the original form xy plus yz plus xz minus 2 xyz then for the case number one we have proved that this is less than equal to 1 per 7 per 27 right so this is true for this case we have, we have proved for this case now the second case where xyz less than or equal to half for the second case when xyz is less than or equal to half we get that 1 minus 2x is non-negative, 1 minus 2y is non-negative, and 1 minus 2z is non-negative. So by the AMGM inequality, we get that all of this is less than or, or equal to 3 minus 2 times x plus y plus z per 27 here to the power of 3. And since x plus y plus z is 1, we get that this is just equals to 1 per 27. So using this form, we get that xy plus yz plus xz minus 2xyz equals 1 minus 2x times 1 minus 2y times 1 minus 2z over 4 plus 1 over 4 is less than or equal to 1 per 27 times 4 plus 1 over 4 which is just equals to 28 28 per 27 times 4 which is just 7 per 27 so we have also proved for the second case we have, we have also proved that this is less than or equal to 7 per 27 and so we have proved that we have proved this inequality